Okay, so today I'm going to show you guys a really fun, easy design that you can do with our new Mylar ribbons. So the first nail I'm going to start with is just over a gel polish. Now it still has that tacky surface. We want to make sure that we don't wipe that off because that's what our Mylar ribbon is going to stick into. So when you get it, it's going to come in a nice little container like this in long strips. You can cut this to whatever shape and size you want. Today I've just kind of cut some shreds of it, so I'm going to just pick them up and set them down in there. And you can go ahead and overlap these pieces as well, give it a little bit more dimension. After we get them placed, then I'm going to freeze them in the light for just a few seconds just to kind of set them before we do our top coat. So I'm going to start with the manicure base because it's got a little bit of a thicker consistency and if there's any little points of those mylar pieces poking up, it'll just seal those down in there. Let's go back in with our ultimate finish top coat to seal that nail. So with those natural nail gel polish clients, you can still do something fun with the mylar ribbons. Okay, so on our second nail here, I'm gonna sculpt this one out in our gel. So I'm gonna start with our clear sculptor and I'm gonna build out our extension. We're gonna do a thin layer of our base. So this layer is actually gonna seal kind of that connection between our natural nail and our extension. Now I have a glitter mix that I've made here and I've used our crushed pearl, star sand, crystal, and diamond dust. So it's a really pretty combination of all iridescent glitters but different sizes of our glitters. So it's gonna give us a little bit more dimension. I'm gonna come in with my build pink gel now and I'm gonna apply just a really thin coat of this onto the nail. And then we'll press our little pieces of mylar down into that tacky layer. And with these, I'm actually gonna really kind of start to overlap them to get a little bit more dimension, a little bit more color combination. Sometimes when you put one color over another color, it's gonna get kind of that third color in between. So now this is the point where you're gonna build up your structure to the nail. And then I will file this up and I'll show you guys the finished nail. So those are two really fun, easy designs that you can use, whether you're doing uh, hard gel nails or a gel polish nails. You can also use this with your acrylics in a similar way as the hard gel. So hopefully you guys enjoy these nails and try some designs on yourself. Subscribe and comment below for your chance to win $50 and a gift code that you can use to shop at youngnails.com.